What's up, everyone? Hi. That's Carmen. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And that's Brian. Brian uh, was a guitar player in Carmen's band, I-9. For those of you that, <laughs> that know Carmen, that have been listening for the last couple months, here she is. I like the flying spaceship comment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you should have worn silver outfits. Yeah, I'm down for that. Let's do that. Uh, where in the world is Carmen? She's right here. Um, so you guys have heard me talk about Carmen and Brian's band, I-9. And uh, I already coached them on, on what not to say about the people at their record label so that uh, so they, they, don't, uh, they don't sue me. Um <laughs> Although some of you already already figure out who these people are and everything, so. Um, anyway, so we uh, we're here today in case they want to answer. You guys want to ask any questions? I'm gonna play for those of you that don't know. Uh, I nine. I'm gonna play a tune that uh, uh, that I'm gonna play a tune for you. D don't get sued. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> um, Carmen, what got you into music? I. I, as long as I can remember, I, I sang. My parents listened to music all around the house. I, I don't know. I, I think when I was a small child, I would sing, I know it sounds funny, but like show tunes. And there was this, this cartoon called Gem in the Holograms, Rick. I know that sounds crazy, but I had every gem doll. And if anybody remembers that, I, I would probably sing those songs out. And so my parents had to just, you know, get me more music <laughs> to listen to. I just came this way. <laughs> Um, what's up, Helium? Okay, I'm gonna play one of the, one of their old songs here, uh, just for anybody that hasn't heard their band I Nine, and then you can uh, you can you can ask them questions here. Let's see here. Uh, here we go. Jim was truly outrageous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, somebody knows what that is. Yeah, they know. Michael, you know what that is? I've never heard of Jim. That's way after my time. Philip, you heard you heard of that? Okay, so um, so I'll play you a, a, a one of the songs here. Um, what should I play, Carmen? I don't know. I don't. You have all these. You have okay, all so these I'll play one of the here. songs. Okay, you're gonna hear what. Okay, I'm gonna play this tune. I'll be there. I played it. I played it a few times, but I'll play it again. And then this this way, they they this don't even remember great. these songs, but you know. Here we go. Oh 
So <laughs> this is a demo from 2005. Yeah. And uh, Carmen is the greatest singer that I've ever worked with or ever heard. Period. End of story. <laughs> That's so, so nice. Thank you. And it's because Brian uh, <laughs> reached out to me back in 2003 or so. Um, or 2004. So there's Brian and the cellist in the band's name is Brian too. Now they're both going to be here tomorrow. At what guitar? <laughs> what, what guitar, Brian? What, what guitar? What guitar was that? I think he's saying what guitar. Like, was there a guitar in there? Oh yeah, yeah, right. Because oh. because uh, because uh, of me. <laughs> So anyway, so there are two Brian's in the band. A different spelling though. Um, Brian is the, is the cellist. The other Brian is the cellist and plays guitar as well. Um, but the two Brian's wrote to me for about six months. I don't know if I told this story and and wrote to my assistant Ken. <laughs> can we sell that though? Um, yeah, we can sell it. So so <laughs> anyway, so they wrote to to my assistant Ken like ten times. They want to come up and meet because they like some records I had produced and everything. And Ken kept saying, oh, you got to listen to this band, I-9. And I said, oh, I'm not interested. Who is this? And he goes, no, you really need to listen to this. So I, for, for months, he would say, come on, man, you got to sit down and listen to this I-9 thing. You're going to really like it. And I said, and so finally he said, all right, that's it. You're listening to this. Sit down. They keep, they, you know, they're writing to me and I, and I just tell them, yeah, Rick's going to listen to it. So finally I listen. I said, wow, this is amazing. Why didn't you tell me about this? <laughs> So that was Ken, and then uh, and then I met the band and came to see him live uh, at an open mic night, and the two Brians were there, and then Carmen came out, and I, as soon as I saw Carmen, I could not believe what I was hearing. Oh, that's so nice. Blew me, blew me away. Uh, get, what kind of guitar did you play back then? Uh, actually, on that song, I probably played one of your, your Gibson. Was it? Yeah, either that or, or one of the Martins. Yeah. Yeah. What did, what did you play back then, though, at that time? Like, the live... Oh, I had, like, a Takamini. It was something that was just, like... I had a really something crappy cheap. We didn't have any money, yeah. Rick. Yeah. So it had broke. to be something we could afford. <laughs> so, they, uh, so they took it upon themselves to move to Atlanta. Quit all our jobs. Quit all their jobs. And see that your fan hey, base is thanks. here. That's so nice, Joel. That's so, so nice. So they they uh they came to they moved to Atlanta from Orangeburg, South Carolina, which is about what <laughs> two and a half hours from three hours. It's a, it's like three three and a half hours. Three and a half hours away. Um. And where did you guys stay? Well, well you stayed. It's kind with... of embarrassing. Like we we stayed. Brian and I. I slept on the floor, and he slept on the couch of this one-bedroom apartment in Norcross, Georgia. Right. Yeah. So that's where we started. And then Carmen moved in with me. Upstairs. No. No, actually at the loft first. Oh, in Buckhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a loft that I lived in before I moved here uh, when Nina and I started dating. And... Um, and Carmen, I had was, no money. Carmen zero, was sleeping zero on, dollars. Carmen was sleeping on the couch at my place. <laughs> and, uh, and cause the two Brian's were, you guys were both living in this other place, right, Brian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Matt's place out in Norcross. And then I bought this house, uh, and Carmen moved in. Yep. So, um, yeah. Yep. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden there was a massive bidding war for their band and they had seven record deals and... <laughs> And then that was the, on the road to... Uh... Failure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun, though. It was fun. Yeah, it was... Uh, those, were, those were great times. Until it wasn't fun anymore. Until it wasn't fun, right. Yeah. So Carmen now... So Brian works... Uh, has multiple companies that he works for, and we work together on a company. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I talk to Brian all the time. And Carmen uh, is a nurse now. But she's still the greatest singer that I've ever heard. <laughs> My patients have no idea. I, I, um, I, so I hadn't heard Carmen sing. Um, in, in, you haven't been here in how many years? Uh, three, three and a half, probably. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and I heard her sing, and she sounds as good as she ever sounded with no practice. That's all genetics, really, pretty much. <laughs> Thanks, um, Rick. 
Nurses are Tr special trust people. Trust whatever he says. <laughs> Nurses are special people. Yep. I love I love kids. I love being a uh, a nurse to small children, pediatric clients. So I, this is interesting. So Robert asked what your influences are. You know, it's funny because I asked Carmen today, uh, what, where does all the blues influence come from? Because I never thought about that, about where she gets that, uh, where she, where you got that from? And what did you tell me, Carmen? Well, I mean, I, I wasn't really sure about where it came from. I actually think, you know, Rick, I, I went to a school with um, where I was I was the minority. I went to a predominantly African American school, and so the choirs that I sang in they um, they were more of a belting type of a choir. And so here's this little white girl who liked to sing, but that I think I learned to belt out and and learn to like really embrace sort of that church gospel and then blues kind of a feel from um from there and, and then i mean as i as a teenager and then college i listened to that's when I, when I really got exposed to like led zeppelin robert plant um and then you know some of the 70s rock and roll has a lot of bluesy yeah so. well it's yeah yep so um who are my influences as far as singers Hmm. Um, I, Janis Joplin is, is amazing, but I'm actually more of a melody person. So some of the people that I would tell you, you've probably, you know, like I, I do like the, I like the melodies of, um, like I used to say like Karen Carpenter, if any of you remember, remember her, even though, um, Burt Baccarat wrote a lot of those songs, um, the melodies and her voice was really, was really beautiful. And then, who else do I listen to a lot of? Um, like Joni Mitchell, melodically and lyrically, amazing. Um, and then, of course, you know, some of the legends like the Beatles and um, Elton John, a lot of that influence. And then, I think I loved Brian Gibson because he played the cello. And if you remember the band ELO, do you know them, Rick? Of course I Okay, know. just making sure. Yeah, I mean, come on. Well, like Electric Light Orchestra. I know I was a kid. I'm 56. I know. I'm probably like the only, you know, second grader that was listening to like The Who and Tommy album and an Electric Light Orchestra, but that's thanks to my dad. So, but but all music. I, I've, I've loved music since forever. I mean, if you have a little girl who's at home singing, just foster that. I, I wish that, that somebody had, you know, maybe like taught me piano or learn how to play an instrument, but I just sing. <laughs> Brian, somebody asked what your influences on guitar were. Um, a lot of uh, 70s singer-songwriter stuff, like uh, I'm a big uh, Jim Croce fan, uh, James Taylor, that kind of stuff, into, into, into a lot of the, the singer-songwriter things, a lot of 60s stuff as well, Beatles, huge influence as well, so. I'm old enough to remember. I mean, they're they're laughing because I know. people on here are know who. Well, <laughs> I live in the country now, folks. So if if it's not a country music artist, they may or may not know who I'm talking about. So I have to cover my bases. Um, Carmen, what do you do? What do you listen to, and what kind of what do you do now as far as um, with music? Honestly, I have two small children, so I'm listening to a lot of like kitty show tunes and things but Brian and I we you know just to, whenever we're together we write songs they just wrote a song <laughs> we should sing that no we haven't <laughs> finished it it might, it might be premature to to run through that but it's fun I, I love it when somebody plays a a melody with an empty um, lyric line I mean it's just it's a it's your my mind just starts going I'm a improvisation person Carmen uh, improvises melodies and lyrics is, I mean, better than anyone that I know. Sometimes, She's, yeah. You know, her her <laughs> ear for for melody is amazing. She always goes to the right notes, and she's a phenomenal lyricist. And that's were you were you an English major in college? Mm-hmm. I liked a lot of Russian literature. Trasvitya. <laughs> I just said hello. I, thought, I don't remember. A whole lot. You used to speak Russian, right? 
Toots toots. Just a little bit, but it's been a long time. No Russian used in a long time. Yeah, Russian is ru 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 I think we wrote a song Russian. called Das Svidanya one time. <laughs> das Svidanya. That's kind of Spanish. Um, let's see here. Karen Carpenter song. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I like so many of them. Um, like... Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. You know that one? So rainy days and Mondays and Close then, to you. Close to you. That's like my theme song. Um, my dad would say that. Yeah. <laughs> On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So you know that one? Yep. Well, that's all my that's my childhood. I love that stuff. Really? Um do you still music in my kid's life? Yes. Um, I did. Do they know what neural is from your? Yeah, I think so. so. Neural is uh, where I, I, pu I put these little sticky buds on my belly when I was pregnant. And so since they were in utero, they've been listening to a variety of music. Um, my daughter, she likes music and she enjoys singing. But my son, he came out dancing and he can hear a song a mile away and and be drawn in. I mean, I hope that they I hope they love it as much as I do. At least one of them. If one of them does, I'll I'll feel like I'm a success. <laughs> Your acapella is formidable. You want to do any other acapella songs, Carmen? What do you do? Um, gosh, I don't know. Give it's me just something. Sound check somewhere under the radio. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What's someone I sing my kids? Let's see. I sing. Um, do you, do you have any kids songs that you sing to your kids? No, I sing Summertime and the living's easy You know that one? Of course Birds are chirping and the cotton is high Oh, your daddy's rich and your mother good looking So hush, little baby, don't you cry Nice <laughs> They, they, sometimes my daughter tells me I'm singing too loudly, so I have to, you know, they're, they're honest. Kids are honest. So they were rehearsing some stuff, and Carmen's voice is so loud that I couldn't hear Brian play the guitar, and, and it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I said to her, how do you even hear pitch when your voice is just drowning out everything? So, um. And he's, Carmen, give me a kid. What is a kid's song that you sing? What's one of the songs that they like? Oh, they like the Disney stuff. Like? Let It Go. Oh, brother. Don't yeah, say that. Yeah, I know. Come on. What's the, is there um, any goofy songs any of their toys do or anything? Because uh, I would get obsessed with those things. I couldn't get them out of my head. There used to be some lullabies that played on my kids' um, mobiles, but um, I, don't, I can't think of what they are right now. Um... I don't know. Are you thinking of one in particular? No, I just I, oh my god. Every one of my kids' toys had some weird song to it that you couldn't I couldn't get out of my head. Yeah, I think she has one that plays You Are My Sunshine, but nothing like super that I can think of. I'm sure if I were not on here I could think of it. Quit nursing, play music. <laughs> Hi Matt. Between nursing since you need to hit the road with Christian McBride. Christian McBride's a jazz bass player. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, so tomorrow, first time live, good, good to see you, Rich. I know this is kind of an unusual time to, um, for me to come on. Um, uh, tomorrow we're going to do a live stream where they're going to play. Um, they're going to come in and rehearse and do we know what time? What time? What time? You tell us what time. In the morning? Can we do it in the morning? Yeah, we'll do it in the morning. Wait, where is everybody from? What's up, John? Good to see you. Where is everyone from so that they know? Can, can people just type in where you're from so they can kind of see where, uh, where, where everyone is from in here? Just write down, just put down where, where you're from. Let's see. North Carolina, England, Massachusetts, Santa Fe. England, wow. Buffalo, France, New Jersey, Germany, Switzerland, Philly, Norway, LA, Switzerland, Ireland, Ontario. 
Thank you for being up to in Finland. That's awesome. Denmark, Sweden, Dallas, Nova Scotia, Texas, California, Detroit, Glasgow, Detroit, Serbia, Croatia, that's LA. Pretty, that's pretty nice. That's a that's a wide audience you have there. Yeah, so we're really, um, it doesn't matter. We can come in in the morning and then do it So because everybody's from everywhere. You don't think my voice will blow the, the microphone? <laughs> we're going to have to do something about that. because It gets um, really loud. Yeah, um... Because uh, people complain when I play my guitar clean at a low volume, like that it's distorting. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get Aaron to uh, figure out how to... Um, um, I've heard of McDonough, Georgia, of course. New Zealand, see this? We're, we're all over the world here. Musicians of the World Unite. <laughs> 10 p.m. in France. Woo! There you go. Which mic? Case... Oh, so... Um, uh, people ask what mic you use on, on the recordings. You, we had a, a uh, Audio Technica 3060. I have it upstairs, actually. Um, but um, I actually broke a mic once. Remember that, Rick? Yes. I get really loud, uncontrollably, um, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. Um, I'll tr try not to sing so Can you loud. go out of your board into, into the Mac? We're going to have to do something like that. we got to figure that out because the my my Logitech mic cannot handle your... Um, uh, can't, can't handle the SPLs. It'll be really, um, really, <laughs> really distorted. Well, Brian and I were just working on a song today, but we, we just sort of decided to start working on more music. Um, someone had just asked if there were any new songs, but the thing we were working on today, you know, it's still in the process, but kind of thinking was like, what's happening? Oh my, hyperventilation, can't my mind's vibrations, please slow me down, slow me down. Um, Soundflower is good for audio writing. Don't mic her. Let the guitar pick her up. There we go. Distortion factor. I have the same trouble. Yeah, I'll sort it out by tomorrow. We'll be on this. So I would say, what time? What time are we gonna do it? Eastern. Like, what time do you wanna come in? You give me a time, and we'll we'll come in. You guys want what? What time, Brian? Ten thirty, something like that. Ten thirty, eleven. Eleven. Yeah. We'll do it at eleven tomorrow. Eleven Eastern time. So set your clocks. We're gonna be on the main channel though. Um, Just for you. We're going to be on the big the big channel tomorrow. Uh, all right, so we're good for today. Check us out tomorrow. Any questions you have for Com for Carmen and Brian, leave them in the comments section. And uh, 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow on the main channel. We'll see you then. Bye, everybody. Thank